Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brie, if you are new here, and welcome back to Palette Throwback Thursdays. In today's video, I am going to be pairing together the ColourPop Truly Madly Deeply Palette with the Tarte Chrome Paint in Wild at Heart. So, if you guys are interested in seeing how I pair these products together, then just keep on watching. I had exactly enough in my paint pot left for both of my eyes. Oh, it always feels so good when I finish those because it's one of those things that you can finish like completely Like there isn't like a little bit of product left behind like you know how like you can never fully finish a lip gloss Because there's always just like just a little bit left in there. Um, I love I love finishing those because it's like it's completely empty anyways all right, I'm gonna start off with a big fluffy brush and I'm gonna dip into the shade lay low and I'm just gonna start building that up as a transition I don't know how long they're gonna keep fucking cutting down trees or why they seem to literally only do it on my days off but I am so sorry if you hear trees being cut down they're very loud I don't know maybe I guess I'd rather them do it during the day than do it at like 7 in the morning because that would piss me off next up I'm gonna take a slightly smaller fluffy brush and I'm gonna dip into made to last and start building that up on my outer corner and blending it into my transition Next up, I'm going to take my finger into the Tarte Chrome Paints and I'm just going to press this pretty much all over my lid. I'm really still not 100% sure what the like formula of this is. I think that it's literally just like a potted pressed shadow <laughs> because like it doesn't have like a bounce to it kind of like the super shocks do and it feels like a powdered shadow it performs like a powdered shadow but then why is it in like a glass pot i simply don't understand it. regardless it's gorgeous and the tones of it do just work very beautifully with this palette i am though going to take my finger and dip into mr sandman and just use that to just blend these two shades together kind of make sure we have some good depth on the outer corner that's that for the lids for right now well that's that for the lids uh, I'll do my under eyes in a slightly different color this time um, but I'm gonna jump off and put on a wing put on my base and I'll be back to continue working on this look all right so for my under eyes I went in with pretty cruel and too much and I just kind of like smoky brush and just kind of smoked it out underneath my eyes and for my bronzer which I obviously did off of camera I used the Ulta Beauty Faux Glow Matte Bronzer and the Milani Baked Bronzer in Dolce. This one's in light to medium by the way. Let's move on shall we? All right and then for my blush I'm gonna go in with the Ulta Beauty Flushed Blush in the shade Sweet as Honey which is kind of like a it's super neutral like it's a little cool and a little warm and just kind of like really in the middle there which I feel like this look is like definitely started out with like a warmer tone and then I kind of went in with some cooler tones so this blush will complement it very well but I'm also gonna put something on top of it so just look how easily that blended like it's insane and then I'm gonna take a very loose blush for this brush loose brush That'll do. Um, and I'm going to go in with the Pixi uh, Plus Vitamin C Glow Powder. This is in Peachy Dew. I originally bought this as a highlight, but honestly, it's just too deep for my skin tone to be used as a highlight. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, like, again, really loose blush brush without the excess hair and I'm just going to just kind of pat it on just for a little bit of glow and a little bit more warmth I don't want to deposit too much sheen you know it will go a little bit heavier on the tip of the nose because I like a tip of the nose blush and then for my highlight, this is actually new to me. I um, am in the process of planning a couple videos that are going to be coming up soon. And it 
involved me literally looking at the every single category on Ulta's website and I came across this highlight and I was like looking at it and I was like that's really pretty and then I was looking up swatches and then I found out that it's actually a dupe for um, the ABH in Amrezy highlighter which doesn't exist anymore so I, I can't offer you swatches to prove that it's actually a dupe. Um, but it is the Revlon Skin Lights Highlight. I have Daybreak Glimmer right here. It is such a pretty, pretty, pretty highlight. Normally, I don't think that I would go for like a gold with this look. Like I would probably go for something maybe a little bit more pink, dare I say maybe a little bit icy, but this is just such a soft, like just pure sheen that I feel like it will work just fine. You don't think that the gold is going to like, it's so pretty. I don't think that the gold is gonna like interact too much with the rest of the look, but it's just such a pretty, pretty, pretty glow. It's like the just right texture that it doesn't like, or just the right like thickness that it shows up, but it doesn't like, accentuate texture or anything like that it's so fucking pretty it's so fucking pretty all right so i'm gonna jump off i just really did this whole thing with fucking foundation all over my lips whatever i'm gonna jump off and finish up the rest of my face for my lips i am gonna go in with another new product um this is actually relatively just like new ish but it's definitely new to me this is the tarte maracuja juicy lip plump i have the shade peach beige which I did try it on earlier just to make sure um, and it is a lot cooler tone like it's looking very warm toned on camera um, it is a lot cooler toned so it will work well with this look but one thing to keep in mind by the way is this is a click up so you definitely want to make sure you don't click up too much but I am gonna go finish up the rest of my face and I'll be back to show you guys the final look all right guys, so this is the final look. I think that it just turned out so pretty and just really just like a really, really pretty glam look. That's like the only way that I can describe it. I know that again, it's not like I didn't break the fucking mold with this look, but I've just been really into these just like really pretty, just kind of slightly softer looks recently. And that's just really been the vibe. Um, I, I have a tendency to go really far out for TikTok so I kind of pull back a little bit more on YouTube. Um, I need to try to find like a healthy balance between the two so that not all of my looks on YouTube are very, very similar, but I'm happy with how it turned out and that's what matters. Um, also side note, this uh, lip product is gorgeous. It looks so good. It feels so good. It definitely has a, a minty quality to it. Like my lips feel very cold. Um, but they look really good and that's what matters. So that is going to wrap up today's palette throwback Thursday using the Tarte Chrome Paint in Wild at Heart and the ColourPop Truly Madly Deeply palette. Comment down below and let me know how you would pair these two products together. I would love to know. Please subscribe if you have not already. It would mean the world to me. Like this video, ring the bell, do all the things. I hope that you guys have an awesome, awesome day and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Love.